Hey angels, welcome back to another resin video. So in this video, we're going to be making another resin clutch purse. So I wasn't planning on... Uh, I didn't really think this was going to turn out too great. So I have my heart mold and I mix up some red resin. And I mix up way too much. So it was going to cure. So I just poured it in this heart mold. And then I let it stay out for like a week or two. And then I just I had some white because I mix up way too much white again. Then I just poured that on top. I didn't really think this bag was going to turn out that great. So that's why the first half of the video is very shaky. I wasn't using my phone stand. I was just recording with my hands. So it got very messy. This doesn't quite look right. But trust me. The bag turned out so cute. I had to post it on my YouTube. Because the first time I've ever making a bag like this. So I just wanted you guys to see how it turned out. And the process that I had to do to make this. So the first layer, I let it dry for 24 hours, obviously. And I let it sit for like a week. And the second layer that I'm pouring, I think I let it sit for... Obviously, it dries in 24 hours, but I just let it sit out for like a week or so. But yeah, I mix my white. I'm just trying to get a little squiggly, squiggly line. I don't know what I was trying to do, but I guess it's fine. So you can see that in the center, there's a space missing. So let's put a little bit of some white in there. And I'm just going to let this dry. And now I'm just popping everything out of the mold. Usually when I pop stuff out of the mold, you can see that it's very bendy. I need to let it sit for a while before it fully cures or anything like that. But obviously, I was letting this sit in the mold for a while. So it came out, came out in perfect shape. I didn't need to let it sit or anything like that. So that was a win-win. And this is how it turned out so cute i like it to fix up the edges you can just sand it down dun, dun, dun. this is how both of them looks looks pretty good i like it looks amazing fixing up the sides yeah i got a little bit of some black glitter on there it cured on there so it is what it is and i made this shaker part because i thought i could just put it would just look good together but obviously the black glitter black glitter the pink it, it was not working out that great so i ended up deciding to make another shaker and yeah so I'm just putting the bag together just to see how it will look together. I felt like if it didn't fit everything together, it looks kind of weird. So that's why I just went to go with something else. So for the shaker, Obviously, I was making ton of them at the same time. I'm just going to be pouring down some clear resin. And I'm just going to let it dry for 24 hours. After 24 hours, I just pop it out of the mold. And this is how it looks. Now, I'm just going to drill a little bit of a hole up top of it. Because that is where I'm going to be putting in the baby oil. So, now I can glue everything together. I'm using my B6000 glue. This glue smells so bad. So after you finish gluing everything together and it dries 24 hours, you're just going to have to open up the bag and just let the bag air out because it smells, it smells just like glue. But yeah, just gluing the bag together, the top and the bottom. Letting it sit for 24 hours. I don't know if I said this, but everything in this video I got from Amazon. I'll leave the link down in the description box down below. So after 24 hours, it's time for the shaker part of the bag. This is how the bag looks. It's fully dry. It's cured. It opens. You can put stuff in it. It's a normal bag. Everything is good. So I got my LED light. I got my UV resin. And I got my um, red butterfly glitter. So in this bottle, I decided why not add a little bit of some white. Maybe that would look cool together, but... The white wasn't China white, and it was actually alcohol ink, but I still use it. It just wasn't showing up. And in the second bottle, I add a little bit of some glitter, the glitter that got a 
the glitter that I got from Wal not Walmart, Family Dollar that I've used in like a ton of stuff is the same glitter. So yeah, this is the red butterfly glitter. Dun, dun, dun. It's the first time using a glitter, so yep. So the first bag that I made, I did not put enough glitter in the middle. So this one I was like, let's just go all in, all out. So I added some of some of the butterfly in there. I don't know, but a little bit of some blue got in there. I don't know where, where that came from, but yeah. I was fixing it up, making sure that it's going to be laying on there flat. And making sure everything is in the center. Now I'm going to be using my UV resin all around the edge. And I'm just going to put it back up top and then use my UV light to cure it. Looks good. Making sure I don't miss anything. Making sure that it's in the center, not too high, not too low. And some of the butterflies are around the sides, around the corner, but that's fine. All as well. So with my UV light, I'm just going to be curing it. And I'll stay. I don't know how long it takes to cure, but I'll be checking it just to make sure that it is cured properly. And obviously you guys can see that I added a little bit of some UV resin around the edge as well, because I don't want anything to leak out so I'm gonna be using my UV light again to just let it cure just going around it a few times make sure everything's good and also pop in any UV bubbles so after everything is dry I got my baby oil in the bottle and now I'm just gonna be filling this all the way up so this took a minute this was hurting my hands because the bottle was so tight. It wasn't the bottle. It was, I had to be squeezing it, letting the air out, squeezing it, letting the air out. And I was just so tired, like squeezing it. It was hurting my hands. And some of the um, baby oil was leaking out up top because I wasn't letting the bubbles come out. So I had to take a few little breaks, but I was able to do it. It took one and a half bottle to do it. And this is the second bottle. I think this is the one with the light, with the white. The first one had some glitter in there. I couldn't get it all the way up because some of it was leaking out. Dun, 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 dun. So after I got it good, a ton of baby white was leaking out. I was like, okay, that's it. I guess that's the best that it can do. So I wiped down everything. I got my UV resin and then I got my UV light, so I'm just going to be closing up the hole that we drilled up there at the beginning of the video. And I'm just going to be letting it cured. Just give it like a few minutes for it to be cured. I was just checking up on it, make sure, making sure it's not sticky and that it looks good. Dip, 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 dip. I'm pretty sure I could have just taken it off. It's already good to go. It doesn't really take long to cure. Everything is good. So to make sure that nothing's leaking out, I'm going to lean it upside down. Let all of the butterflies flow to the bottom. Well, to the top. And that is how it looks. She looks amazing. This is my favorite bag that I've ever made. This turned out so cute. Obviously, a ton of baby oil got on there, so I do need to wipe it off. And it was good to go. This part was my paw, so it was very it was very slippery, but I was able to fix that. And yeah. Obviously you can add on chains on the bag if you want. I just carry it around like that. It looks so cute with a chain, so I like it like that. I like it like that. This is how the bag turned out. Well, I hope that you guys like this video. This is how it looks if you just let the bag sit. You just have to be shaking it around just to make sure everything looks good. This is how the inside of the bag looks. It looks so good. It's given Valentine's. <laughs> and we're in November of 2022. But whatever. It still looks good. Well, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you want to see more stuff like this. And yeah. Make sure to subscribe to the channel.
Toodaloo. And bye bye. The next video won't be set up like this. I will actually record it to be posted it on YouTube. So better quality. This bag is so fun. I love it. Yay. All right. Bye.